Allie found herself unexpectedly uneasy with Mike's insistence on spending time alone with Ailey's child, Kaylee. He became unexpectedly interested in her daughter. Allie took matters into her own hands and secretly installed a covert camera in the living room. Since they were married, Allie had always hoped that her husband and daughter would get along, so she wasn't sure how she would react to the abrupt shift. Mike never stopped saying how much he loved them, even though he didn't have any kids of his own. He lavished endless attention on his five nieces and nephews. Allie was concerned about Mike's desire to spend more time with her kid as an uncle, but was her concern based just on instinct? In her view, a stepfather's intimate relationship with a stepchild was quite typical. Mike's request for some alone time with Kaylee sent up alarms. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Allie was a single mother without anything, because her father had abandoned her before Mike entered her life. In sharp contrast to her former partner, Mike struck her as the loveliest man she had ever encountered. They met at a birthday celebration for a mutual acquaintance, and they spoke all night long. Allie was quickly enamored with Mike. After immediately clicking, the two started dating. Allie was anxious to inform Mike that she was pregnant despite this. She had no idea how he would respond. She's found that most guys don't want baggage-wielding women in their life. She liked him a lot, and her kid wasn't supposed to stand in the way of their relationship. She didn't want to start the relationship by keeping things secret because the two appeared to be getting along well. When she informed Mike about Kaylee, he didn't even blink. A serene grin appeared on his face as he conveyed his eagerness to see her. She could see he was a youngster at heart. She was so relieved to finally tell him about Kaylee and that he still desired a relationship with her. He was one in a million in Allie's perspective, and she didn't want something that shouldn't really matter to destroy their connection. Six months later, Allie and Mike exchanged vows. Allie was happier than she had ever been, even if it all occurred so quickly. Allie and Kaylee relocated to Mike's home from their little flat. The house had three bedrooms, so Kaylee would have her own room. Things were going well for Allie until Mike made a suggestion. I want to hang out with Kaylee for a while. Despite our extended relationship, we have never truly clicked as stepfather and stepdaughter. I would want to amend it if you would allow me to, he replied. At first, Allie thought it was a great idea. Kaylee didn't really like Mike and wasn't interested in playing with him much, even after they got married. Allie found that odd because Kaylee was typically open to playing along with anyone. She was a lively young child who preferred to play with her uncles and aunts rather than Mike. I just want her to think well of me. After months, we've still not been in touch. It has bothered me more than I anticipated. My intention is to become a father and daughter to her, Allie, Mike said. Allie realized they needed to be in a relationship for her to be able to trust Mike as a father figure. Allie was taken aback by Mike's eagerness to spend time with Kaylee. She thought her spouse was acting suspiciously. Though she was impressed by his zeal, she felt a bit nervous. Eventually, Allie allowed them to spend some much-needed time together, even though she didn't want to push the matter. Seeing all the wonderful things Mike had prepared for them, she knew she and her friends would have a fantastic time together over their lunch. But she was ignorant of the true situation. The house was in disarray when she got home after her day out. Kaylee could not stop weeping. Mike was perplexed as though something had occurred. What's the situation here? What took place? Al sprinted over to embrace Kay. Her toys were all over the place, and the home appeared to have been hit by a bomb. Mike started hurriedly gathering and storing Kale's toys. Mike's expression was visible to Allie. Something had occurred in the home that left Kaylee extremely agitated. Mike remarked that he had no idea what to do when she began to weep. Allie was not persuaded. Allie was shocked to hear Kaylee's two words when she asked her gently what had happened. Our secret. Kaylee spoke while crying. Allie turned a bewildered gaze on her daughter. By that, what did she mean? Mike looked like a deer caught in headlights when she gazed up at him. What had she entered? Was there something he wanted to keep from her? Kale's remarks made her think about things she didn't want to think about, and something just didn't feel right. Mike asked to spend more time with Kaylee the next weekend. 
He said that not all of the enjoyable activities he had in store for them were completed. Torn between wanting her husband and kid to grow close and having a peculiar gut sensation that something was wrong, Allie paused. She was hesitant to agree, but she did so out of hope that Mike had good intentions and that it would improve their family. Over the next few weeks, Allie became aware of some minor behavioral shifts in Kale. The girl, who was formerly vibrant and carefree, appeared restrained and aloof, especially after spending some time by herself with Mike. As Allie's discomfort increased, she decided to take the extreme measure. She could only learn the truth about what was happening in this way. She needed to calm her down. After making a purchase, Allie installed a covert home security system in the living room while Mike was at work. Would Kale's sadness be ultimately exposed by the hidden camera? Time would tell. And this time, without even asking, she was going to offer that Mike spend time with her kid. She didn't even go out with her buddies that weekend. Rather, she just went to a coffee shop and pretended to work on her laptop while sitting there for the most of the day. In actuality, she was seeing live video of what was taking place in their home. All she needed was some clarification. Still, a long period passed before anything truly noteworthy occurred. While they watched cartoons together, Allie observed Mike preparing breakfast for the two of them. Allie wanted to watch this moment since it was heartwarming. She could even hear Kaylee giggling as Mike pulled faces. The two of them were definitely getting along. However, what was this secret Kaylee was discussing? Then Mike picked Kaylee up after breakfast, and the two of them went into the bedroom. Allie was becoming quite anxious and worried throughout their extended stay there. How come they were in there? She had hoped they would stay in the living room area so she could see them, and they had left the TV on. After shutting down her laptop, Allie headed back home. She accelerated her speed in the car. She had a strong feeling that she should be home right then and there. She tried not to let Mike know that she was home as she slipped into the driveway in silence. All she could hear as she approached the door was loud music. It had the same type of soundtrack that Kaylee enjoyed from her favorite motion pictures. Taking a deep breath, Allie made the decision to stealthily glance out the window to see what she might see. She prayed and hoped that everything would be well. She threaded her way between the few bushes leaning against the wall, which prevented her from obtaining a better view. Her heart almost stopped when she finally peered through the glass. Mike and Kay were there, dancing about the living room. Dressed as princesses, Mike and Kaylee were belting out vocalizations of Kaylee's favorite Disney tunes. Allie's tears just wouldn't stop streaming down her face. She found it to be such a nice event. Never before had Kaylee looked so content. As she watched the unexpected situation play out, Allie couldn't help but grin through her tears. Mike had really arranged for Kaylee to have a surprise princess tea party, replete with costumes and her all-time favorite Disney tunes. That was the key. Their exuberant dancing party had caused the commotion earlier. Allie was relieved and filled with appreciation for the guy who had not only carried her kid, but also went above and above to make it a very memorable experience for her. But along with the relief came a little pang of remorse at questioning Mike's motives. Allie, with conflicting feelings, made the decision to go inside and participate in the unplanned princess tea party. Mike glanced at her, and he appeared relieved to see her. As soon as Kaylee spotted her mother, though, she smiled. Mike clarified that his goal was to surprise them both and provide a unique moment that would deepen their relationship. He admitted that he had been trying to figure out how to get back in touch with Kaylee since he felt a little distant from her. Touched by the genuineness in Mike's gaze, Allie had an intense surge of affection for the guy who had consistently demonstrated his concern for her and her daughter. Admitting her anxieties, she described the concealed camera and apologized for questioning him. Recognizing that it was normal for a parent to be protective, Mike expressed sympathy for her worries and offered her forgiveness. He told Allie that he had always had good intentions and that he genuinely loved Kaylee and her. They laughed and enjoyed one other's company for the remainder of the day, making additional memories that would fortify their newfound family. Allie was reminded by the occurrence to be honest about her anxieties and to have faith in the love she had with Mike. In the end, the covert camera, which was first installed out of worry, became a useful instrument that increased Allie and Mike's trust and gave clarity. 
The family's knowledge of the value of candid communication and understanding set the stage for a future full of affection and special times spent together. The days went by, and Allie, Mike, and Kaylee became closer as a family. Mike started reaching out to Kaylee more often and with greater sincerity. A treasured recollection that was frequently relived through family pictures and anecdotes was the Princess Tea Party. Allie came to the conclusion that heartfelt surprises may sometimes be the greatest. She had unintentionally created the conditions for priceless moments that would influence their family's dynamics for years to come by putting her faith in Mike and giving him the freedom to connect with Kaylee. As parents, Allie and Mike joined together to face the pleasures and difficulties of raising Kaylee. Allie's early uncertainties and fears gave way to a profound gratitude for the guy who had actively taken on the role of a father figure to her daughter, in addition to accepting her history. In turn, Kaylee thrived under the combined affection and care of her stepfather and mother. An increasingly gregarious and self-assured attitude replaced the formerly timid and repressed manner. The Princess Tea Party seems to have been a watershed moment in their relationship, the start of a sincere and enduring friendship. The family continued to make innumerable memories throughout time, from special occasions like birthdays and holidays to ordinary occurrences. Ali frequently viewed the hidden camera film as a tribute to their love's tenacity and the extent they would go to in order to have a happy family rather than as a source of doubt. Together, Allie, Mike, and Kaylee had created their own happily ever after, but they were also experiencing their own version of a fairy tale full with obstacles and surprises. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.